Mr. Mayor, Rudy Giuliani, that'll be $148 million, please. <laughs> Mr. Mayor. You got I any find... money? You can loan me great. <laughs> it seems totally ludicrous. I thought you were terrific after the verdict. What are you thinking right now? Oh, how can you not be so sad for the country? Here I am in the District of Columbia. The first time I came here, I had goosebumps. I'm going to leave here thinking that um, this District of Columbia court is a fascist court. I mean, Judge Howell, I didn't know. Uh, Elise Stefanik today filed this, this uh, a complaint against her for her ethical behavior. I didn't know she had given this speech in which she talked about the January 6th defendants and really about Donald Trump and big lies. And she's also the one who got very upset when the January 6th defendants weren't getting enough uh, sentences as far as she was concerned. And she abraded uh, the uh, prosecutors and said, the sentences should be heavier. Mm. That is not a role for a judge. I knew when she was assigned to the case, I knew we were dead. I didn't realize we were that dead. Do you realize that I never got a chance to put in a single bit of evidence in defense? My liability was based on the fact that I didn't completely comply with discovery. And I turned over thousands of documents and I sat for a deposition and did not take the Fifth Amendment. Let me ask you, what at were most, you- At what, most, what, there should have been sanctions. What discovery, <laughs> it is wild because it's not what people think it is, uh, what happened today. What part of discovery did they say you did not comply with if you turned over all those documents? What part of the discovery? The, the financial status of my present companies, which uh, might have to do with whether I can afford the 148 million, which I can, but has nothing to do with whether I'm right or they're right. A lot more important would be all the videos at the time that all your visit, vi uh, viewers have seen. Yeah. The jurors never got to see those videos. We never looked at what happened at the arena. Well, there's a they reason why. The judge, they were told by the judge that because of her ruling, Giuliani lied. Giuliani never got a chance to say, gee, would you like to take a look at what I saw? And how about an independent decision on whether I lied or not? That hey, never Mr. happened. Ruby Freeman, I don't know if you caught this during the January 6 hearings. She said something that I, I actually just noticed today. This is Lady Ruby, excuse me, Lady Ruby. Uh, here she is talking about just prior to a January 6 and a visit she got from the FBI. Your conversation with the FBI about needing to leave your home for your, your own safety or perhaps recommending it. Um, do you remember, was there a specific threat that prompted that or was it the accumulation of, of threats that you had received? What prompted it was um, was getting ready to January 6th was about to come. The FBI told her to get out of her house because January 6th was about to happen. Um, this is the same FB FBI, you know, Lisa Strzok, Page, Lisa Page and Peter Strzok were talking about not letting Trump win. Do you find that suspicious that the FBI said January 6th is coming, so we have to move you? Did you know that? Sure, but I couldn't, I shouldn't, yes, and I couldn't put that in evidence, as well as other tape recorded conversations and uh, some videos that I think your viewers have seen, and I'm sure in the future we'll see, but the jurors never saw those. The jurors never saw a single defense from uh, Giuliani. So I don't blame the jurors, except the money is ridiculous. The amount of money they awarded is absurd. Uh, it's, uh, it, it probably, the money reflects the absurdity of the way the judge conducted the trial. Also, the lawyers here were Biden lawyers. These women could not have afforded these lawyers. I, is it a coincidence that the chief lawyer worked with Hunter Biden and represented the crooked Burisma. That's I mean, uh, Mr. Who's Mr. the Go guy who? Who's the guy who revealed that? Who? Me. 
And his name is. Why do you think they're coming after me? Because if it wasn't for me, nobody would know about Joe Biden. And Let me ask you this. Me for years. You said something very, I thought, generous and appropriate after the verdict today uh, to the press that were assembled. I don't know if you remember, but he- here's the question and your answer. Do you have any work. regrets about some of the comments that the women received? Well, of course, the comments they received, I had nothing to do with. Those comments are ab- ab- abominable, they're deplorable. No uh, defense to it, but I receive comments like that every day. Uh, different kinds of things. Uh, I've represented clients who have gotten that from the other side. This is a terrible part of our political system. Republicans, Democrats, liberals, and conservatives all get that. Uh, my comments weren't that. And I think that was also a very unfair part of it because my comments had no connection at all to those. There were thousands of things on the pre- in the press about this, of which mine were a small amount. There's no way to say that my comments connected to that, but that's going to be part of what we'll get to litigate in a fair court. Thank you. It's a fascinating distinction. And they were complaining about all the threats, although they weren't that specific about the threats. With an evenly, with an evenly, uh, partially fair judge, just a little bit of fairness left in her, she would have ruled those uh, comments out as unduly prejudicial without sufficient connection. I know that. I've tried many, many cases, very important ones. And that is a ruling that uh, a fair judge down the middle, not one who is obsessed with Donald Trump, uh, would uh, would do. And her background, and if you t- take a look at her handling of the January 6 cases, indicates we have a judge here who um, has, a pro- has a problem. There's something and else. the trial that I received is absurd. It's not a trial. I, I never had a trial. I never so, had a trial. There's a fundamental misunderstanding about that video that purports to show Shea Moss and Ruby Freeman or Free, um, that you were the one who released that. And actually, Adam Schiff has perpetuated that false information. Take a look at this. <laughs> I didn't really. Well, I know the events that we're here to talk about today are incredibly difficult to relive. Your proud service as an election worker took a dramatic turn on the day that Rudy Giuliani publicized a video of you and your mother counting ballots on election night. So and that's not the only time they said that, that you released the video. Actually, I have these two individuals, and let's take a look at that. These are the ones who publicly aired that video for the first time. So it's going to be tough because I'm going to have to depart from the microphone and point out sure, some fine. things at times. You're looking at one big room here. There are two individuals in Atlanta, uh, and I don't know who they are, but they're not you, (laughs) and they seem to be from Atlanta. One is an attorney, a female, and they're the ones who presented that video. They're the ones who made that public, correct? Correct. Jackie Pick and uh, and Mr. Smith. Uh, I've forgotten his first name, but Jackie Jackie uh, Pick is the one who presented it, who found it and presented it, and I saw it for the first time when the general public saw it. And doesn't that, shouldn't that take the heat off of you? I mean, shouldn't that, that, that to me is something that the jury may have responded to. But again, it's interesting. You don't blame the jury here because they weren't able to see the evidence you wanted to present. You know that. Your audience knows that. That was kept from the jury by this judge. How do you feel about Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss tonight? And I know uh, you said some stuff about them earlier in the week. The judge gave them, gave you a hard time. What do you think of them? What are you prepared to say about them right now, if anything? I'm not going to say anything about them because it's way beyond them. This is, this is way beyond them. And my uh, uh, desire to move on with this case is really to save the republic. Uh, tri- trials like this do not happen in a country that's ruled by law. Trials like this happen in a country that's ruled by a regime which is what the Biden machine is, it's a regime. And this is not the only uh, desecration of justice in this regime. It's one of many. You know, and it do, has to stop. It has to stop. Do you think the, the big number here and how you've been treated is a warning to Americans in general, do not mess with the regime because you, like the others who have been jailed or persecuted or prosecuted? Is this the mess? Are we the real target here of what happened today, the people? Sure. When, from the day I first revealed his criminality 
and they wrote letters to the press saying to keep me off the press. They have been very aware of the fact that I'm one of their prime protagonists and one of the most effective ones. After all, if it wasn't for me, that never would have been revealed, and the hard drive never would have come out because Barr and Ray were ready to hide it forever. So uh, who, who, who's a better target other than Donald Trump than me? And if you can get me, you frighten the living daylights out of a lot of other people from doing the same thing. And I know that because it's hard to get cooperation. Okay. What are, your, what are your immediate next steps? Well, I can't tell you right now because we're, uh, we're, well, we're going to appeal, of course, but there may be a few. We've got to see exactly what the judge does in terms of, I mean, uh, the defense would love to have her issue orders that would silence me completely. Uh, more important than even getting the case affirmed or reversed or whatever, they want to shut me up. So today they were talking about like orders that they'd like to get that would tell me that I can't discuss with you uh, the, the facts and details of either what these women did or other people did, even though I'm the person in the best position to know about it. So that takes away from Donald Trump an extraordinarily important uh, uh, not only piece of evidence, but a person with a, maybe the biggest 360-degree view of this thing. That's Mayor what they're Julie. trying to do. They're trying to shut, I mean, to put it simply, they're trying to shut me up as if we were in Nazi Germany. Well, it's not going to work. Mayor Giuliani, I saw you on 9-11. I know what you're made of. And <laughs> you are going to uh, be victorious and you will be restored. I oh, know. I'm on the right side. I've got no doubt about it. I know you are. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Stay in touch. Good luck. And we'll be right back.